<laughs> hey guys and welcome back in my next video in today's video i'm gonna explain you how to clean up your backpack so you have the right equipment that is blocked and the other equipment you can use it as food and you don't have to be bothered every time to be like to check if it's good or not can you use it or not so before we even start uh, just to explain you quickly right now the meta is to have three sets of equipment attack speed hp death now every set has a variant obviously attack you can have crit damage crit attack that's that's the perfect one but you can also have like crit attack damage uh, crit attack and i don't know damage crit right there are different variants but those are the equipments you're gonna look for then obviously you have the speed equipment so this is for wind tricks or any someone that you want to go first in the arena and this speed equipment is basically all just for the arena let's be honest and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna sort out the speed set and you're just gonna make sure that the speed is on it with the highest rolls and then you have hp death uh, equipment so it might be hp resistance hp death hp death resistance like there are a lot of variants today but i will show you how to know which one to keep and basically everything else after you're gonna just use as food and you're gonna see that there is a lot of stuff you can just use right now and you think you might need it but believe me you don't so let's start with the easiest one with uh well our damage dealers so in this game obviously the perfect gear will be crit damage crit attack as an example this is a perfect piece you have attack crit damage crit well the rolls are not really that good but this is the pieces that you will always lock because this is like the ultimate like obviously the late like the only thing that's missing instead of defense would be either focus or speed right like that would be perfect then and obviously I would love it to roll like, I don't know, two times in crit damage and two times in crit rate and one in attack, stuff like that. But this is first of all. So then you go to your backpack and basically you're going to lock with this little lock here every single piece that have crit damage, crit rate on it. And that is six star. If you are still not able to farm six star gear, no issue, block every five star. However, do not keep any four star gear and do not, not upgrade any four star gear it's not worth it if you just like if you followed all the guides on youtube right now you should understand that the must go is the queen and stage level 10 queen it's really easy to farm and you can get five star gear there so you don't like the only the only time you're gonna up four star gear is the very first gear you get for free by starting and doing uh, the campaign. So yes, this one you will, like you will up it to, up to twelve, so you can you know progress in the game. But then you're just gonna go to mythic or you're gonna like farm lower stages of raid. You're gonna get HP death focus sets. You're gonna run Santis Hakrim, etc. And you're gonna farm five star gear. Like there is no excuse. You can do it. Everyone can do it. It was already proven by, the, by a lot of YouTubers. You can do it. So below five star, if you're a beginner, do not upgrade. And then obviously all you wanna do is just keep six star. So from the moment you can farm any level stage 12, do not even think about it. You food every five star. You do not keep five star, even if it's crit damage, attack, whatever. You food it. It's not worth it from the moment you can farm six star. So yeah, this is the first variance. Obviously, crit damage, crit rate, attack, or just crit damage, crit rate. That's also fine. Then you're gonna switch crit rate, uh, crit damage, to crit rate, crit attack. And again, you're going to see which one have the biggest rolls and you're just going to block it. This one is actually OK. This one was OK. Is this OK? This one is a little bit low. So yeah, this, the, the rolls might be really bad. Like this one is really bad. Doesn't matter. Just block it because we are cleaning right now and we are not checking which one is the best or no. And then you change crit rate for crit damage. The same here. You're just gonna check what's here. Oh, I have this. 
okay you're gonna block it you're gonna see what else and i'm yeah, just gonna take this one as well and that's it so we did crit damage crit rate <clears throat> crit rate attack crit damage attack if you do not have those two stats none of this equipment will be good for a damage dealer you you don't go into up in an equipment just because it will have for example crit damage and then no crit rate or attack those pieces garbage you do not keep them even if it rolls four times into crit damage on the very long run you will still change this piece once you have crit rate crit damage attack so if you really don't have anything fine you can like go to plus three plus six max to see if it rolls into this but and like very long you, you won't use it in the in the long run at the beginning your first six star pieces i can understand but now i'm talking about you know like you have played for i don't know three four weeks and you have a lot of stuff so i'm just showing you how to clean uh, your backpacks when you are like comfortable that you don't need you know any equipment that has just one stat that you're looking for right but yeah so this was it crit damage crit rate crit damage attack and crit rate attack and you basically block it and then everything else you leave it up so this is your damage dealer set you i mean obviously you want a little bit of speed on those but you should not force it so let's say you have crit damage crit rate and speed you have it great however if you don't have it it's not that important because well again like i showed you you can have speed set so it just gives you speed crit damage crit rate uh, but then again <clears throat> there is not a lot of content that you need like i don't know insane speed like 160 170 right 140 is the mass i think 146 but any hero that fully glyphed who is fully glyphed uh, you start at 114 so then you just need like 26 speed which is not that hard to find but honestly i never ever even put attention to to the speed it's just it just comes alone then we're gonna go to the speed set because it's very quickly so me for example the only hero i use a speed set and when i say speed set is literally i just want a hero to be the fastest possible and I don't care about any other, any other uh, statistic. So let's just give her, I don't know, this uh, attack. Uh, this is good, actually. So no. Yeah, let's, let's go with this. So if we take, for example, one, my win tricks. Um, she has 290 speed. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm aiming for like 300. 10 but this is a really late 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 game guys so basically what you want to do for her or any or virgil or i don't know tia or other like you want to have someone faster to outspeed everyone else basically obviously well in speed boots uh well, first of all you have to put the set speed like for speed dealers that's the only set you should even go for don't try anything else so on the sword you're gonna go for speed and uh, to be even good you need minimum five if it's four uh, obviously if you're a beginner that's fine if you are longer in the game minimum five don't even bother to go to enchant anything below five uh, head and tours there is no speed uh, boots obviously main stat speed and then well that's it it's up to you if you want anything else after that uh, the ring, the same speed substat. You want a minimum of five, uh, but personally, I'm very unlucky with the rings. I only get four. Oh, there we go. I have one five. I would not suggest to try fours, but again, if you're not very lucky, you can go on four. And then the same with the necklaces. You want a five in speed, and yeah. So I would like, like for example, here I have a plus thirteen on the necklace, and basically, yeah, that's how you build your speed to speed uh, booster, right? You can also build uh, speed HP, so you want someone very fast. But 
in this game, it's not like Summoner Wars. It's not because you have 300 speed, you're going to play 20 times. One round, everyone plays once. So no matter how much speed you want, it won't give you that... Uh, maybe in PvP, okay, but anything else, from the moment you have more speed than the boss, and in some cases you don't even need more speed than the boss, especially if you're playing uh, HP death uh, teams, the speed is not that important in this game because you cannot reduce the turn matter. So, again, even if you have 300 speed and the boss wa has 140, well, you're still gonna play once and most probably your statistics other than that will be very bad. So don't focus that much on speed in this game. Uh, I think speed for like 150, like I said, 146, 150 will be enough to outspeed any raid boss. And then we go to the last set of uh, last set of equipment. Uh, so we go to first of all we're gonna start with uh, tank set main stat death. So obviously you're gonna go and look for uh, pieces with defense, resistance, and HP. This one is really bad to be honest, but let's me. So you're gonna first of all you're gonna start HP death percentage. Like this is this is the best you can get. And then late, late game, what you're going to look for is uh, HP, death, uh, resistance, HP, death, agility, right? This is like the very, very end game. But in some cases, you can just go for defense and I don't know, resistance. Like, for example, Hakrim, I don't care for him having HP. All I want for him is having huge amount of defense. So if I don't have good pieces, I can still go to like, okay, I don't know, defense resistance or defense. Oh, okay, no agility. Maybe a little bit of speed. No. But yeah, or even just defense. And uh, you can try to roll it and try to see if it goes into, into everything defense. And again, guys, like whenever you have defense HP, you just lock the gear. You have, I don't know, defense HP, defense resistance, defense HP resistance, defense agility. Those are good for tanks, especially Hakrim if you need death. For example, Hakrim, then you also have Charles. Those two need max death. So you're going to go into defense and you're going to look for HP, resistance, health. And all you do is, even if it's not amazing, you just block the the piece so you go for here and you just go okay have health defense precision resistance no matter you just block it that's it i know here it has health defense crit damage mm, i don't know i don't feel like it i leave it out and then you use it as food so the, the point of this video is just to show you that you don't have to keep 1000 equipment just because maybe something might be good in the future no so I will make it very easy, three sets. First set, you keep anything that has crit damage, crit, crit attack, attack. You keep anything that has crit attack, crit damage, crit attack, attack, crit damage, attack. You keep all of those, doesn't matter what, you just keep them and then everything else you can put as food. Then you keep also every single speed set so not set but sp speed equipment so any sword with speed any ring with speed any necklace boots with speed for the speed set gear you keep those uh, and you keep anything above four you do not go for three or yeah three like four or five it's the only thing don't even try for three because you will not outspeed anyone if you roll uh, three number i mean yeah when the equipment has three speed and then lastly, you will go for defense, HP, resistance, and focus. So obviously I forgot about this one, but you also need to aim for sometimes, for example, for your daughters, for focus. So for example, you will go and look for health, defense, and focus. This is also important. So which pieces do you keep? You block, no discussion, is... HP percentage, death percentage, resistance, when they are all together, or HP percentage, resistance, or death percentage, resistance, or death percentage, focus, HP percentage, focus, all those you keep, no discussion, and everything else you just 
use as food. Also, very, very important, any blue piece who is, for example, attack defense or uh, defense, uh, crit damage, you, you can also throw those because any piece that is half attack, half defense is useless, you can get better. And then basically, well, you did your sorting, right? So uh, you blocked all your equipment. Let me show you, for example, my, we go to gear, uh, manage gear. Okay, I cannot do it here. How, how do you do it? Gear, I don't know. But you will see I have so many locked equipment. Obviously those are enchants, but then if you go lower, you will see, for example, here, crit damage and, oh yeah, attack crit damage. I don't have, maybe I didn't have anything better. I kept it. What do we have here? Defense, resistance, health, health. Perfect for a tank. What do we have here? Crit rate, attack. There you go. Two stats for attackers. You keep it. What do we have here? Crit damage, crit rate. Again, two stats for damage dealer. Here, health, focus. There you go. A daughter set. Health, focus. Same would be for de uh, defense percentage focus. I would also keep it. Here, crit, crit rate, crit damage, you keep it. Here, crit rate, crit attack, I kept it. Here, defense, defense, health, focus. Again, that's for a daughter. Here, crit damage, attack, that's for an attacker. Crit damage, crit rate, attack. Okay, this one is just perfect. Uh, here, defense and focus. You see, you don't need defense, HP, uh, percentage, focus, no. Uh, you can also use defense and just focus to get a bit tanky, but has this focus. So, and then everything else like here, okay, the stats here will basically too low, so I didn't keep it. But let's say then you have like, you know, six pieces of gear per, I don't know, six necklaces with defense and focus or at HP. Then all you do, you just go and use everything as food. Because the, the problem is, if you go and you try to go up to plus 15, right? Well, that's very good. Maybe you have some uh, stones to enchant your gear, but most probably the most things you have is your six star gear. Like I have 300 of those and I didn't use them so far because I was like, oh, maybe I will use it and it's not good. Maybe I don't know. So now I sorted it out. I blocked every single piece I want and everything else now I just gonna use as uh, garbage. Yeah. That's nice. Health focus. I like it. So yeah, guys, that was a first, very fast uh, guide on how to sort out your equipment. What do you need? Uh, don't feel bad to use your equipment, like if the stats are bad. Uh, but for sure, make sure to block few pieces and then just go ahead. You can uh, use everything as food. So yeah, guys, I hope it helped you. Just to understand a little bit that, you know, don't be under pressure. Don't keep everything. Don't have like 2000 gears in your backpack. It's not worth it. Use it as food. It will help you way more than uh, hoping that one day this might be good. Okay. Thank you guys and see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>